just want to do a quick video. Uh, <clears throat> I saw some people in the Facebook group, Tormach Operators. Um, she's trying to do one part and flip in the vise and not have to post two codes, which I used to do. Sometimes I do like two or three or sometimes even four, and I, I recently kind of figured out what to do um, <clears throat> to not have to do that. So um, first thing you do is you're going to pull up your post, and this is kind of a post I modified. It should be pretty close to the stock post, but you scroll down, and you'll find your, these are all those manual NC commands that you can use. Um, and what I've been using for this case exactly, it, basically what you're doing is uh, I'll use the command stop and I edit it to say, um, well it does the command stop which should, actually no I had it move first. So what it'll do is it'll use G53 which is your machine coordinates um, and then this would be, I believe it's the home position. Yeah, yeah, that should be the home position. So it would write uh, D53, G00, Z0, which would lift your uh, spindle all the way up, your Z all the way up, and then it would go the next line, G53, G00, Y0, uh, and X0, which would move to the home position. In this case, I, I'm using this on the 770, so it moves it all the way to the front right, um, and that's the most space where I can get at everything. And then it writes an M0, which will stop your code no matter what. If you have M1 on or M1 off, an M0 will just stop it. Um, and this force spindle speed, I don't know if that's needed. I just saw it in another one. So you could do that um, for this. And you could actually you could make more of these two. Um, I'd have to look, but that's how you do that. Um, and I obviously I keep this in my cam post. I'm trying to think. So what I do, I'm trying to think where I have this set up here. I should have it in here somewhere. Yeah, right here. So you can see an example of it. So, I would come in here and I do my pattern and I run two patterns because I run a bunch of I try to run a bunch of different stuff at the same time now, it just works better. Um, so I run everything and then when I want to go to put these screw holes in to hold everything down, I have a manual NC stop and that is where it's going to post the what we just went over. But I haven't tried. Let me see what else we can add another one. Uh, let's see. You could do a. I don't know what to. Let's just try this. Two break options. I'm gonna try comment. Um. Put screws in. Let's just see if it works. I'm going to put it right after the stop. Whoops. Come here and we'll post this. It doesn't matter. I'll fix it later. So we're going to scroll down here and I'm actually going to find. Try um, zero. Yeah, okay. So that did work. So, right after my M0, uh, it's going to put screw in, and I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a way where you could change the output of this to tell the Tormach controller, Pathpilot, to blink a message on the screen but I'm not sure but in this case your your stuff's gonna stop right here anyways and you can just go look at the screen and be like hey why is my machine stopped and then be like oh put my screws in 
and uh, you could obviously you can make this smooth wherever you want. So um, that's what I would do there. Uh, and I hope that helps.